may offer a very unfamiliar feel for the new visitors to Williams Bay Beach in Shagaramas. But the soft, grassy floor of the beach, just a few meters offshore, provides just a hint of one of the most extensive seagrass colonies located just off the Shagaramas Peninsula. The shallow, warm, clear waters off Williams Bay, together with the planned onshore development policies that has limited freshwater runoff after rainfall, has made Shagaramas an ideal habitat for the largest seagrass colony in Trinidad and Tobago. Seagrasses are submerged angiosperms that are found, um, they're found below the bottom of the ocean in shallow areas and unlike coral reefs and mangrove swamps they're usually found in all areas of the world except the most polar regions so they're not restricted to the tropics. In Trinidad the most extensive seagrass beds are actually found here along the northwestern peninsula of Trinidad and Tobago. Um, seagrasses. In 2002, they instituted an inventory and the most extensive beds are actually in this area and the most extensive beds that are dominated by Thalassia testudinum or turtle grass is actually found in the Williams Bay area, extending all the way to west of Alcoa. Seagrass is well known worldwide for its prolific and productive ecosystem that provides a natural habitat and protective spawning ground for many types of fish and microbes necessary for the natural cycles and good health of our oceans. Recent decisions by the Shagaramas Development Authority to carefully plan zones for agriculture, recreation and industry on the peninsula have been successful at preventing unsustainable development as well as agricultural practices such as slash and burn, chemical spraying, and the promotion of crop rotation techniques. Seagrass has been playing an important role in filtering runoff and protecting aquatic species that cannot survive in marshlands or coral reefs further offshore. Scientists confirm that seagrass is one of the most productive ecosystems on the planet, as they contribute more oxygen per acre than any other type of plant cultivations. They also absorb more carbon from the atmosphere as well. The promotion of this ecosystem can significantly reduce global warming. Recognizing the role of the seagrass colony, the architect of the Shagaramas Boardwalk Phase 2 has factored in several significant design elements that would protect species both onshore and offshore. One of these key elements include a large water retention pond in the design. Apart from playing a dual role of providing recreational opportunities for visitors to the boardwalk, the ponds will serve to slow the flow of fresh water to the sea and reduce the volume of sediments that may block out sunlight to the seagrasses below. With the adoption of our new vision for people-based sustainable development, the Shagaramas Development Authority hopes that more citizens understand the value of our natural environment, get regular exercise, and enjoy the outdoors in an environment that is safe and secure. This is just one of the many reasons why Shagaramas is the place to be.